All right, fellas, so we're back. And today, let's see. We're gonna do gra, gro, gra. Uh, I know there's something special with that O, but uh, <laughs> looks like a zero to me. <laughs> let's see, though. Game will probably tell me how bad I am at pronouncing names. Always does. Maybe I'll get this one right, though. The Aval organization is something of a legend. Long ago, the king of a knightly order took up the spirit sword to confront the wielder of the cursed sword. Lurking in history's shadows, the secret society has persisted through the ages. Their mission has been to find the lost spirit sword and bestow it upon their future king, while preventing those that they called outsiders from wreaking havoc upon the world. Grow, a young man blessed with a cool head and magnificent fighting skills, became leader of the organization's punitive force. They sent him on a mission to hunt down and kill the Reeker of Chaos, the Azure Knight. However, his entire force was destroyed, and he was dealt a nearly mortal wound. Sounds like he got some work to do. You are so fragile. So weak. Damn you, outsider! Submit your soul to me! Never! You have not defeated me yet! Alright. So he's stubborn, that's all. So. Am I. dead? No. That's creepy. Kill. Kill. Kill anyone still alive. My soul! It is being taken over! Ah, shit. What the hell are you letting that happen for, Gro? Oh. He screamed his own name. Hmm. He's being consumed by an evil force. There is no use in letting him live as a hideous monster. Perhaps I could kill two birds by having him fight that outsider I already experimented on. He's being held around front. Is that as well part of the organization? I mean, he used the word outsider. I think as well as part of that organization. They just don't know it yet. Battle one. Fight! <laughs> Holy crap, my boy is going off. What the hell? What did they do? Mr. Go here. He's not a badass. Poor halberd wielding knight. Ow! Hey, you better stop that. Get out of here. Wait, no, we were both malfested, so yeah, he's a scum lord too. Yeah. <laughs> I. Oh! <laughs> As well. Why are you here? Bravo! Magnificent! You've done well to return to your senses. Dear Grow, you fascinate me! I was battling the Azure Knight. And you failed. Without my aid, you would be dead now. <laughs> what of the Azure Knight? I could not defeat him. It took my all simply to bring you back with me. He's a malevolent king and wields the cursed sword. It would not have ended well for me. Blast! Could we assemble a new punitive force? You wish to challenge him again? So loyal to the organization and the cause! The extermination of outsiders indeed! Sacrificing everything, even your life, to achieve the organization's objective! Is it because of the hatred you bear for the outsiders? Those fiends who took your family, friends, and home? They are evil. All outsiders must perish. The deaths of my brothers shall not be in vain. Of course! 
How could it be otherwise? That's who you are! And so you must be cursed by fate! Oh, the tragedy! The drama is palpable! What do you mean? Uh, my arm! Have you not realized what has become of you yet? No! It cannot be! It can and it is! Your body is now partly infected by the power of the outsiders you so despise! But tell me, how does it feel having within you the very same power that robbed you of all you hold dear? Oh gosh, he's a sick man. An outsider? Such despair, yet such hatred too! But fear not. If you had lost your senses and been consumed by the monster within, I'd have disposed of you. But that did not happen! You are not the fiend you think you are. You are still human! For now. You wish to die, though your life was saved? <laughs> well, that certainly aligns with the organization's belief of eradicating outsiders, those who've rejected humanity, and as such, you should die. But why not see this as an opportunity? The great power you've gained will aid your mission to fulfill that belief. You think I should use this power? Though it is a sin even for me to be alive? What foolishness. Such an act would betray the very organization I serve. But you could use that power to give you the strength you need to defeat the Azure Knight. Is that not so? What is this? A gift. When mending your armor, I modified it to help suppress the evil within you. It should ease your burden at least a little. Of course, in the end, what you decide to do is up to you. But fear not. I shall not report anything to the organization. Probably because they're all You dead. have done too much for me. Not at all. I love humans, especially ones such as yourself who are tossed about by emotion and reason. As well as batshit. That is what we have learned, guys. And his name is Gro. <laughs> a visit from a friend with the help of Aswell Gro has brought was brought back from the brink of death. After returning from his mission he wounded the wounded Gro gosh damn I can't be today. The wounded Gro received a visit from his friend Curtis. Good Curtis man. I like Curtis. Gro decided to hide from his friend the fact that his left arm was being eaten away by an evil wizard. Dang. Never lied to Curtis. Curtis Bro, looks you made just it back like alive. You. Curtis, what do you want? How can you be so cold to a friend coming to check on your well-being? It hardly seems someone in your position would come simply for that. Damn. Though I number among the twelve, the organization's supreme decision-making body, I can still make time to visit an old friend. Just tell me what you want. Gosh. <laughs> your impatience is unbecoming. Still, you're as shrewd as ever. I have a new mission for you. To defeat the Azure Knight? Unfortunately, a different one of the Twelve is in charge of that particular matter. Even you, the strongest of the Twelve, were unable to defeat the Azure Knight. We need to try other means than brute force. Since I failed my mission, I assume my seat was forfeit. While some among the Twelve wish it to be so, this mission is designed to convince them otherwise. In other words, this is a chance to rise from the ashes. I shall accompany you as an observer. Mm -hmm. Any mission to subdue outsiders, I shall do. I care not for my seat in the Twelve. Come now. I wish to lead you together with the organization. It's a selfish wish, admittedly. But you must assist me. Stubborn as ever. Well, some have always been too stubborn to respond to anything but greater stubbornness. <laughs> do as you please. That I shall. And accordingly, before I reveal more of the mission, I want to make sure you have not gone soft. Oh! Let us step outside. Oh! He... My, my supposed buddy, I don't know, that didn't sound like a real friendly conversation, honestly. Wants to... Uh... Wants to make sure I haven't gone soft. Gosh. Honestly, though, it seemed like I was the dick, not him, so... Good on good. Curtis, I thought you would be. Get out of 
Start, mate. You start. Oh, Codis. Didn't know what was coming. Oh, I gave Codis a bath. <laughs> Alright guys, bro is, he's a mean motherfucker I tell you, Kill gosh, him. no, no, stop it, stop it you outsider. Careful now, I see your time and recovery did not rid you of your mercilessness, do you wish me dead? Forgive me, that voice, it is the same evil voice from before. My fate is sealed. Fear not. You are not back to your formal self yet. How is the wound from the Azure Knight? Though not fully healed, it will not interfere with my mission. Is that so? Always trying to put on a brave front. Well, I concede defeat. Your wound must not be so serious after all. <coughs> I'm just that damn good. <laughs> are you done? Old man. Yes. Sorry it took so long. And what is the Intelligence Chief doing here? I would expect you to have better things to do as one of the Twelve. Gro, do not speak to our Master in such a tone. <laughs> no, Master. It is true I am free enough to see my two pupils. Moreover, I have information about the mission. Then say what you have to say and be quick about it. Very Gosh. well, I shall be brief. We have located a branch of the ancient outsider group, Fiegel Sestimus. Gro, you will initiate a surprise attack and destroy the outsiders quickly. That is all. Understood. No mission I have ever accompanied you on goes smoothly. Indeed, the trouble you find yourself in goes beyond bad luck. Hopefully, this time will be different. You know, I'm starting to think Gro is a dick. He's like, really just, honestly, he's telling everybody he doesn't want to talk to him. He's like, yeah, screw you. Get away from me. Tell me what I need to know get it on my face. Such, so rude. <laughs> the evil cult Fiegel Systemus had grown in strength to the point where a veil organization could no longer ignore it. As such, Gro and Curtis were assigned a mission to annihilate one of the cult's subdivisions. Oh, peasant boy. Oh, merchant boy. <laughs> you can't escape me. In a matter of days, there have been floods, landslides, earthquakes, forest fires, and now merchants assailed by bandits. It's a perfect storm of trouble. You really were born under an unlucky star. <laughs> what should we do? We're on a mission. Should we simply move on? No. Scum who prey on the weak are simply that. But they are not mindless outsiders. They are beyond our jurisdiction. Still, I assume no matter what I say, you will still try to help, no? If so, let us make it quick. You wish to use me as an excuse? How unfair. I'm not sure I trust this screw, man. It's very suspect. <laughs> I am oh goodness. I'm a suspect. That's a first. Hey! Never going in that again. There's a little boy. Come here! What am I doing? Go! Bouncing over here in a corner on a tree. Next, he's a little boy. I want to climb a tree again. Goodness gracious. Come on. That's oh. You are not the typical ruffian. I tell you what. Ah! 
never do such a thing like hitting me in the back of the head again. Alright, alright, alright. Hey! Stop it. Kick the hell out of you. Holy crap. Hello, man. Th thank you so much for your help. Uh, take this as thanks. We need no thanks. Just go. <laughs> Certainly. Gosh, I sound almost as bad as a bandit. We Just have get wasted out of enough here. time. Let us move on. Wait. Before we proceed, I must clear something up. What is it? When I fought you, something bothered me. And seeing you fight those bandits confirmed my suspicions. Your arm. What are you hiding? Oh. Oh. Hi, everything, buddy. Good old Codis. I would never hide anything from you, Codis. Oh, that's a terrible sign. No trust between friends. Codis sensed that something wasn't right with Gro. During the battle, his friend seemed strangely conscious of his left arm, as if it pained him somehow. However, when Codis questioned his contract, Crowd and decline, declined words to reveal anything. I heard that Aswell saved you. What did he do to you? <clears throat> he simply healed my arm. You know how skilled he is with such things. Indeed. However, is there not more to it than that? You're either trying to protect your arm or you fear something about it. Aswell created that armor too, did he not? He did. It is simply that my arm still hurts from the Azure Knight. There is nothing to fear. This is my opinion and nothing more, but I can tell you because I trust you. Aswell is as qualified to number among the Twelve as you and I, but he is dangerous. Joining the Twelve requires the approval of more than half its members. You and I were both recommended by the Masters before being approved. It was the same with Aswell. But he has no loyalty to the organization. Of course, the organization has its factions. There are radicals such as you who wish to exterminate outsiders above all else. And there is the old guard who consider coexistence an option. Coexistence? Still, what? All are loyal to the organization. All except Aswell. He acts with his own motives. And I believe it is only a matter of time before he revolts. Knowing him, it is certainly possible. Aswell seems to have taken an interest in you. If he is using you to fulfill some purpose, he could have done something to your arm. Indeed. Even, Even if, if that, that is, is so, so, what reason would there be to give me such abominable power? Do not worry yourself. I have no recollection of him doing anything untoward. My wound simply hurts. Is that the absolute truth? Ever have you been cursed with bad luck and the propensity to get mixed up in trouble? I'm concerned. That is all. Do not be. What a good friend. It is the truth. I'm I see. Here. I'm a dick. Then I am relieved. Curtis over here being a good man. Stupid girl. <laughs> Alright. What's up? Okay. The Code Subdivision. Two warriors finally arrived at the Code Subdivision where they spied its men hurriedly preparing for a ceremony. Seeing this as a perfect opportunity to strike Gro and Curtis charged in. Yeah, right? Woo! Two men take out an army. Was right. Souls are being sacrificed to obtain the power of an evil god. Oh, These gosh. fiends have lost their humanity and become outsiders. Who the hell are you? <laughs> you dare to interfere with Kumpeku's plans? I waste not my breath on outsiders. Die. Goodness gracious. No! Bring out the knight! Hurry! What? The knight? Who's the knight? Oh. Just a skeleton. What on earth? It's a skeleton. Behold our ultimate creation, an undead soldier born of necromancy. It took countless sacrifices, but the Soul Edge Fragment finally granted us success! Mm. Soul Edge Fragment? The Cursed Sword? 
I still think it's, it's just a skeleton. And I'll prove it to you here in a second. When I put it down like a rabbit dog. <laughs> Come on. Let's get away. Kane. Here we go! Gosh, why are you wearing armor bigger than me when you're like so skinny because you're bones? It don't look proper, my- Stop that! You know, for being a tiny bunch of bones, he sure does not take damage at all. Like, I have been- Oh no! Away from the edge within me. Oh. Stop that. What's going on? I only got him halfway. Let me continue! Such strength! <laughs> mortal cannot expect to win! You may as well lie down and die! All who dare mock us shall be destroyed! That sounds like a cult, honestly. You got the, uh, you got the cult chance down pretty well, man. You sure you're not in the running for the leader? Oh, okay. <laughs> the undead soldier. The undead soldier the cult had created was powerful beyond measure. I, kick, I was kicking the crap out of it, honestly. I don't think it's that powerful. But in, uh, in Grau found himself backed into a corner. Maybe it was time for him to use the ace up his left sleeve. After all, he was out of other options. I... I think that's strangely suspicious. Well, they certainly kept this ace up their sleeve. How much bad luck can one person have? So, the fragment grants enormous power. The priest has it. <laughs> Your efforts are in vain. Uh, <laughs> this is no mere fragment of steel. Even if you take it from me, you cannot destroy it. Our undead soldier shall hunt you down and slay you wherever you may be. Is that so? That's interesting. Unleash your power. Kill those who defy you. Claim their souls. Um. The evil power they wield lies in my arm, too. If I unleashed it, I should be able to defeat that creature. You don't listen to evil creatures in your arm. Grow! Get your head out of the clouds! No! Oh! I'm gonna keep my head in the clouds. Curtis! Curtis! Sorry you had to do that. It is but a scratch. I'm fine. Uh, and I was to be but an observer. I need not hesitate. Without power, all is lost. Don't listen to evil spirits in your arm. They protect anything. They are but rabbits to a tiger. Enough! You outsiders shall no longer do as you please. I shall do what I must to protect, to live. I shall harness this power to its fullest. Goodness gracious. He's just letting the outsiderness consume him. Guess we're not running the normal message here, guys. Normal propagandists don't let the uh, don't let the evil control you. This one is control the evil. Battle one. To make you more powerful. Ow! Stop stinking! Hitting me! Piece of garbage! Stop kicking the same way. Do some special kick. Yeah. Yeah, sit your stupidly armored. Skinny a little self down. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, get this boy. Hey! How dare you hit me while I'm doing some magic jump? 
Ah! Stop! No, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't agree to being on the edge so you can hit the hell up off me. No, oh, Josh, skeleton. Yup. Better stop this skeleton. The crowd gets even more angry. Stop it! Stupid skeleton. Kick your little ass. Don't stop me, game. I wasn't done with him. Stop it! Learn how to aim! I think this, this thing is making a blind. Alright, alright, get in here. Stupid. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Drowned to death. He Wait. It, it doesn't need air. Oh no. I don't think it drowns. Impossible. Oh, beautiful creation. At the bottom of the ocean, buddy. Oh. Goodbye. So much for Cole Leader in your future. That appears to be the last of them. But this is not the end, is it? Oh, Curtis. What are you saying, Curtis? Listen, Curtis. I'm sorry I let you get stabbed. Unavoidable conflict. Thanks to the power in his left arm, Gro managed to survive, but at the cost of revealing his secret to Curtis. Recognizing immediately that the power in his comrade's arm was anything but human in origin, Curtis pressed Gro aggressively for an explanation. I, I can give an explanation. I, I think I can do that. I suspected something all along, but when I pressed you, you tried to reassure me all was well. And I was in denial. I prayed it was not so. Answer me. Is this Aswell's doing? I know not. But he told me that I was cursed the moment the Azure Knight wounded me. A dark power seethes deep down inside me, making me crave flesh and blood. If I lose control, it will consume me. Don't say that. That's scary. Without your power, we would have been done for. Some within the organization would recognize the value in having someone with the power of the enemy. However, to me, your power is that of the cursed sword. The organization must not allow it. But with this power, we could eradicate more outsiders than ever. You truly believe you can remain in the organization? It is the most efficient means of exterminating outsiders. No question. I see. In that case, you leave me no choice. Curtis. How about you? This place shall be your grave! Curtis, buddy. Why you gotta make me do this? And I'm still in Super Saiyan form. He didn't even, like, he should have turned his voice off at least, you know? Sounded like a normal human again. Would have helped a little Battle bit. Battle 1. Fight! Take it! Take it! Curtis, I know I, I don't want to do this, and you know I don't want to do this, but that doesn't mean I'm going to hold back. I mean, I'll make this swift for you. Don't worry about it, buddy. It'll be the swiftest death you ever had in your life. I promise you that. Oof! Yeah, you thought. Dang it, come on, learn how to aim. Girl. Let's go, buddy. We're talking about aim here. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aim! He's always missing. Hey, stop that! Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You're gone, mate. I'm so sorry, Curtis. You're my friend. 
Why do you not kill me? I never intended to do such a thing. Do you really expect me to accept you in that power? It would be a betrayal of our organization. I know. Once all outsiders are eliminated, I shall end my life to pay for my sins. That is why I need you to watch over me. <sighs> I should have expected as much from someone so unlucky. Your troubles know no bounds. Very well, you win. However, we are both betraying the organization now. When you pay for your sins, I shall too. You need not accompany me. Enough. Now, about that fragment of the Wicked Sword, you... A throwing knife? Who did this? Someone just threw a knife as well! Not grow. All witnesses must be disposed of. Oh my. Even if that witness is an old friend alongside whom you have fought so gallantly. As well. You scum lord. You just killed Curtis. We will... We made a suicide pact together. What were you doing? Man. What the hell? The tragedy begins. Aswell appeared suddenly and knocked the unsuspecting Curtis to the ground. The traitors seemed to be after the fragment of the Curtis sword. They'd stolen from the cult. However, that didn't seem to be the only thing he had in mind. Fucking Aswell. It's time to whip this little boy. Back I shall be taking place. this fragment. Neither of you know its value. The Damn value is in my arm. What do you mean? <laughs> See this fragment? This is how you use it. What? what are you doing, Curtis? What are you doing, Curtis? Let us see what happens when a fragment of the cursed sword is embedded within an able, ranking member of the Aval organization. Such an intellectually stimulating subject, don't you think? I will not allow this. Huh? As a researcher, I couldn't possibly stand a chance against one from the punitive force. Or so you thought. However, <coughs> by harnessing the energy from the cursed and spirit swords fitted into this glove, I am able to battle you both! Poor Lorne. Incidentally, it was I who manipulated the resonating wave energy to create that throwing blade. No! How could this be? Curtis! Oh no. The corruption has begun. Oh no, the Curtis. The stage is set for more of your sublime drama. Now, my dear Gro, what will you do? Your beloved friend is turning into a loathsome outsider. I'm already an outsider. <laughs> Gro! <sighs> Hesitate not! <sighs> just, just be like me. I'm an outsider. Damn you. Honestly, Curtis, be strong, my friend. Be strong. I know there's a throwing knife in your chest, along with a, a, a shard of a sword. Probably doesn't feel good. But be, be strong, my friend. Don't make me kick your entire ass again. Ow! Ow! Okay, Curtis. Okay, I understand. You're, you're a little angry. Probably because I lied to you. I mean, that's completely understandable. Ouch. Ow. Stop it, Curtis. Curtis, control yourself. Oh my goodness, Curtis. Back the hell up off me, Curtis. Oh my no Gosh Curtis I don't wanna have to put you down, Curtis. You're making me do things I don't Ow! Oh my Gosh! Stop it, Curtis! Curtis! We have talked about Oh my goodness! This boy Curtis needs to stop this. Going in. 
All right, Curtis. Your time is over. It's my turn now. Oh my goodness. Stop doing that to me. Alright, Curtis, Curtis, stop it! I, Curtis, I love you! Alright, I've lost my, uh, my combo of doing all that crazy teleportation somehow. Like, I'm not doing it no more. Ow! Curtis, I'm sorry. It had to be done, my friend. You attacked me. And you told me to. On top of that. So sorry, Curtis. Curtis, awaken from this madness. Fight it. That's not fighting it. He has utterly succumbed to the beast within. Such a shame he'll not be joining us. Curtis, get a hold of yourself. Tap it. No. <laughs> Sorry, but it seems you're on your own. Curtis. Don't you worry. All will be fine. No. All will be fine? You really are a simple man, Gro. Thank you for all you have done for me. I shall take care of the rest. Yes, I believe you can. Oh no, Curtis. You're dead, mate. Let me get this boy as well. Time for sadness is over. I know he just died, but it, it time for sadness is over. We gotta kill as well. Perhaps his punishment for his times, Gro was forced to do battle with a mutated friend. Did it have to end like this? A quiet rage burned away at his heart from within. Yeah, that 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 tends to happen. Pr really, honestly, man. Now you gotta kill as well. Oh dear me, another precious life lost. But a monster that has lost all reason has no worth. Kill him. Oh my, what a wonderful expression. The struggle between sorrow and hatred is simply sublime. Now, let that sorrow and hatred fill your heart. Come at me. Oh, I'm coming, buddy. Don't you I fucking worry. Kill you. You just, you just made a monster. You didn't want to make. I can guarantee you that, sir. Stupid ass well. Sitting up in your damn wizardry tower. Playing with yourself. What the hell? Battle Disgusting. One. Come here. Who do you think you are? I'm back. Nope. Nah, 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 nah. I don't hold anything back, man. You aren't Curtis. I don't care for you. You're a scum lord. Stop that. Stupid scum lord. He just, he just ducked under everything. Stop that. You dummy. Yeah, I kick you in the head. Battle miscalculation. Fight. Uh, miscalculation? Is that what you call getting your ass kicked? Quite frequently, that's what's happening. Holy crap, get off me. Oh, you throw me off the edge. We're gonna have a problem beyond measures, mate. Get off of me! Piece of garbage! Here I go! 
attack. Come on. Let's get rid of this boy. Nope, apparently not. We're gonna do it this way. Backslap him with the edge of a sword. Stupid ass, well, piece of garbage. Yeah, look at you. Wonderful. Even crazier looking than normal. Hatred and sorrow. You could resist your destructive impulses. There's such a magnificent sight to see. However, I am spent. I could not possibly take any more of this drama. A serious <laughs> wound would spoil the fun of leaving the organization. What do you mean, the fun? Pursue me. Allow the desire for revenge to permeate your being, but do not lose your senses. I have been moved by your story, and shall never forget it. See, what, 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 what the hell are you doing, asshole? Quake! No, this must be. This yeah. place will soon be reduced to rubble. Perhaps we will meet again, should you live. I would like that. Farewell! Wait! Oh, you don't bear! These these Nimcom poops aren't gonna do nothing to me. Gro managed to escape from the crumbling temple, but his friend's corpse was lost oh. in the rubble, never to be found. No, Curtis. Gro returned to the organization to report everything that had transpired with Aswell. Waiting for him was the news of Orzel's death upon Aswell's defection, as well as a new mission. Aswell had double-crossed the organization in the hope of unleashing the evil seed again to save humanity. Or so he claimed. And that don't make much sense. Gro's new mission was to kill the outsider Aswell before that could happen. I shall never forgive you. Your intentions matter not. You took my friend from me. Mark my words. You shall pay. I agree. Screw you as well. We're coming for you. Now we know why he ran off and didn't fight uh, the names Nightmare. Of the warriors whose fates were bound into the very fibers of history. <laughs> we know. Alright, let's see. Check on who's next for Ellie. Next we got, we got Aswell himself! Speak of the stinking devil! This gosh dang scumbag. Alright guys. Well, I'll see you next time when we get rid of this here scumbag.